I'm back on the pond, um, targeting smallmouth bass on the float tube. I'm going to be using some foam dry flies. Should be a lot of fun. Hope you stick around, and I'll see you on the water. Are these hopper patterns that I tied? It's kind of a cross between a hopper and a stone fly. Not a stone fly nymph. Oh, and I'm on. Nice top water take. It's pulling pretty hard. I don't really want the leader to break. And the best way to prevent that from happening is to put them on the reel. There you are folks, there's a top water bass for you. Looks about ready to roll, yeah, he's gone. Got another one. There you are. Second bass on a topwater fly, or dry fly actually, if you really want to be technical. Got another one on the dry fly. Beautiful, small note bass. Oh, he tried to run. And my battery's dying. There you are. Another pass on the dry. Off he goes. On to one. That wasn't exactly the release I was going for.
I got one. With that dry fly, you just came up and sipped it. Doesn't seem too big, probably about eight inches or so. Beautiful fish, healthy, and ready to go back. All right, folks, that concludes another successful float tube adventure. If you'd like an instructional video on how to tie the fly I used today, go ahead, make a comment. I'd be more than happy to do that for you. Thanks to those who've subscribed. Knowing that there's a few people out there who absolutely enjoy these videos makes us all worthwhile, even if it's one or two. Until the next time, I'll see you on the water.